Hello and welcome to another Oak Art with Linda E. video. Today I will be making some Day of the Dead display art, starting with the largest one pictured here. So this piece is going to be using a bust that is made of a product called Liquishé. Uh, the full information about it is on the full video if you go check it out. Um, it is flat backed and it is going to be glued onto this background. It gets three coats of flesh colored acrylic paint. Let it dry in between coats. Use a makeup sponge to get rid of any brush marks. On the background, uh, I'm using burlap and a glittered mesh. I cut the burlap into an arch shape and I glue it down with a mix of acrylic paint and Elmer's glue. The, um, the mix actually adheres it and colors it at the same time. While that's drying, I move on to drawing the bone shape on the chest and painting it in. and I'm doing uh, back and forth. I let one dry while I work on the other. So now I'm gluing down the mesh on the background and gluing the crystals into the background one by one. Then I dry fit her to see where she's gonna be positioned and I cut the little skulls that are gonna go into the background. I painted a coat of white paint onto her face and let it dry while working on the chest and getting the bones to have a little bit of dimension by shading around the edges. Now back to the face. I painted a gray background in the eye sockets and I put the gray cheek area in and I started painting all of the teeth which takes a while. There's a lot of them. Then I, um, I moved on to lining the lips and defining the shape of the mouth and I went back and added a detail ring around the um, the eyes to make them stand out more um, a little bit of makeup layer and um, eyeliner so to speak I added some color to the temples and some bone color different places around the face I added a few cracks here and there for just a little extra detail and I put a row of red rings all the way around the um, the eye and um, I decided to add some color back into the face because it, I thought it was a little too pale. I wanted it to look like makeup, not a mask. So uh, I moved on to painting the eyes. Uh, they are dark blue background with a light blue iris and then a black dotted pigment for the uh, pupil. And I put the rest of the red dots in here and then I draw a spiderweb pattern on the forehead and color it in with um, different pens added some Swarovski crystals to the design to give her a little bit of bling on her some gold dots around her eyes for a little extra flash of color sorry about my head getting in front of the camera then I moved on to adding some scroll work on the face and I showed a few samples of what the next video is going to look like there. I think next was adding some UV gel and some white paint to the teeth to really make them stand out and I, um, let's see, I, oh here's, that's the UV gel and I worked on the background a little deciding what trim I was going to use around the edge and uh, oh now's the fun part now we start putting it all together now we have the fabric choices I made an aluminum foil and tape form to hold the dress and give it its shape so it looks like a body and I decide after a dozen different things I tried to go with this leather corset and a um, leather and, and ribbon trim and then I added a 
stick to the background to hold the two pieces together, but allow me to move it around during the costuming phase. Uh, gluing it to the background ahead of time is counterproductive, so don't do that. And I went ahead and finished the, um, the choices and exactly how things were going to lay on the costume. I went through a whole bunch of different <laughs> options before I decided on these, or this combination of them. And I still wasn't liking the look without the arms, so in the back of my head I was still trying to figure that one out. But I added more fabric to the top of the dress to give it a little more flair. And I added some lace to cover the arms because I didn't like them disappearing. I added a sheer ruffle to the bottom of the skirt so the aluminum foil would never show. And I also uh, started dry fitting. Oh, I glued her hair first. I did her um, hair attached. Check out the full video on my channel to see exactly how all of that was done. And the flower choices were made and I dry fit them on her head to see which order I want them to be in. And I slowly one by one started gluing them on and they're glued to her, not to the background. So I can still lift her up as you could see. And the order of these flowers is now being decided and then one by one I started gluing them in place and deciding if I was going to add more gems or wings. Wings won, so I gave her these little wings from a butterfly that I almost threw away. Watch the video, you'll see. Because I, uh, oh she got glued down in the middle there and uh, I glued them to the back, to the back of her also. Um, and then I had some jewelry decisions to make and I added more hair to the back of her head and I discovered that she needed arms in that moment there and then I decided she needed these arms so I made them out of uh, wire and cloth and I basically just glued them in but I decided to bend them so it looks like her hands are backwards on her hips and I really liked how that looked. It just gave her so much attitude and personality. And um, these are, I think these are some of the last bits of lace I added to hide the uh, gap between the bust and those arms. And I'm going to add some pictures here at the end of what the next video piece is going to look like. And I hope you come and check that one out too. And if you like the video, please give it a like. The only feedback I get is if you leave some. So leave a comment too, and I will see you next time.